feel great. Uh, I think the the last couple of weeks, I'm really just looking forward to um, and working on just really trying to get the ball in the air a little bit more. Um, I've hit a, a couple of doubles that have been in the gaps on good pitches, um, but uh, you know, so but as of right now, I feel really good at the plate. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing the ball well, and uh, I'm just trying to. Uh, get more swings off. I feel like for the last two weeks, um, um, I'm probably gonna start being a little bit more aggressive and uh, try to get to to really get some swings off of um, of some good pitches. And Boone talked the other day about how he likes you in that three hole. How how comfortable are you there? I know you did it a lot. You've done it a lot in the past, but how what's your your comfort level there? Uh, I'm super comfortable there. Um, I understand what the job needs. Uh, I know that, uh, um, you know, that uh, I can do both, you know, I, I hit for power and also get on base. So, um, and, and especially in our lineup uh, with, the, with the four guys that I'm around, um, I think that combination is, uh, is pretty good. Next question goes to Brendan Cuddy. Brendan, please unmute. Aaron, thanks for taking the time this afternoon. We've asked you a lot about this, but uh, just what's the situation with the elbow? How does it feel? Where is it at right now? Uh, I mean, it's good. It feels really good right now. Uh, it's, I just went uh, three games in a row, and uh, it felt great. You know, yesterday I woke up in the morning feeling completely fine. So, um, you know, that was the that was the big test for, for this year, um, and it's it, it's been going really well. Hey, man, no driving and talking. Brendan, do you have a follow-up? <laughs> Next question goes to Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, please unmute. How about sitting in your office and talking? Is that yeah, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. That's good. Um, he's not very bright anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Um, when you think about the, you talk about the lineup, how much does the first inning have an impact when you're talking about trying to go after a starter you know, the guys who have the top of the order and the ability to throw 20, 25 pitches on a guy right in that very first inning. Is that something you guys talk about a lot as kind of a jumping off point? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, especially when the top of the lineup is, uh, is attacking the, the, the pitcher right off the jump, it's it's definitely um, tough for, for a guy, for a pitcher to kind of get comfortable. Um, I feel like when you take first pitch pitches down, the, you know, right down the middle and, um, you know, it kind of lets them be comfortable. But if you're come out um, hacking and ready to go, and um, you know, right off the jump, DJ one nothing, it, it kind of puts a little bit more pressure on pitchers. And um, you know, I feel like the the first four batters for sure are definitely trying to go up there and um, and do damage right from jump, right from the jump. So you know, it's uh, it, it's very key for. Uh, the top of the order to get to get going uh, fast because it just sets up everything for the rest of the lineup. Is that maybe I, I don't know if this is happens or not, Aaron. Do, do you four talk about it together as okay? Well, if you know he does this to me, I'm going to do this. I mean, is it a kind of a group discussion about attacking that night's starter in the first inning? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm the only lefty in the first four, so. Um, you know, they definitely talk to each other uh, about uh, the way they might get approached. Um, and uh, it, it's definitely something that we discussed during our hitters meeting and uh, of how pretty much how the first inning, how they think it might go. Um, you know, Marcus and, uh, and PJ definitely do a great job with uh, getting us prepared and ready for the game um, and the starter that we're about to face. So, um, I feel like uh, the conversations are definitely going on, especially um, throughout the game and especially in the first inning. It's kind of the only part of a game you can game plan for, right? I mean, everything else kind of changes after that. Score, pitchers, everything. This is really the only chance you have to kind of like whether it's a football type of game plan, that's the only time you have to implement. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, it's the only time that we could actually prepare for it because um, we know for sure who's pitching. So, um, yeah, definitely.